Right. Guess I'd better start looking for shops called Müller that are likely to sell art supplies. This shop could sell the painting case. Well, maybe. These three make up a good basis to work from. Let's see if I can rule out a couple using the map. Painting case came from this shop. Okay, so these three shops are the most likely to have sold the painting case. I need to pick the right one now. An industrial estate. Difficult to imagine an art supply shop could have prospered here. The shop I found in the phone book must be a hardware store or something similar. The district seems like it's changed a lot since when the phone book came out. Looks like the pawnbroker I found is no longer in business. The antique shop from the phone book is located in this district. Looks like it's full of similar stores. No doubt about it. This antique shop is probably my best shot. Better hang on to the address. Just need to get the painting from my room and I can go and show it to the antique dealer. There must be three years' worth of emails I haven't read here. Better do some cleaning up. Ah, that's better. I wish you could be here with me now, Katyusha. We would have found the shop together. was buried months ago.
It's very calm here. Still haven't bumped into any guests since I arrived yesterday. And that suits me fine. Hmm. I get the impression I've seen that before someplace. Hope it still works. I hope it'll be just as calm when I get back. Wouldn't mind some alone time by the fire. The meager amount I've managed to save since I escaped from the mine. Katusha's punk group. Would love to have seen them. Perfect. I just need to take this painting to the antique shop I found earlier. Maybe Frau Wagner can tell me how to get there. Nice. It seems like a lifetime since I enjoyed some good old-fashioned comfort. Room might not be as cozy as a Yukol yurt, but it's sure more spacious. Strange to be here in Wagen. After months of roaming from east to west on a motorbike, after taking odd jobs here and there to build up a little nest egg to finance this trip, and to be able to stay in this guest house for a time. Lucky Frau Wagner let me in despite my appearance when I arrived with my meager means. <laughs> the days when Marson and Lormont paid for my travel expenses seems far away now. <laughs> It's like they were someone else's memories, fading away with passing time. <laughs> Guess I've changed. Since the death of Mom and Katusha, pursuing my hypothetical double on the painting turned out to be too tempting. Comforting, even. In any case, I promised Katusha I would find her. Oh, hi, dear. So, Miss Walker, were the documents of any help to you? Yes, I was even able to locate the shop I'm looking for. Thank you so much, Frau Wagner. Good. Let me know if there's anything else I can help you with. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions about your guest house, Frau Wagner? Oh, I'd be delighted. What would you like to know? Things seem to be quiet today. Oh, there's never many guests at this time of year. Actually, is she a guest too? Oh, yes. She arrived earlier. An elderly English lady. 
A former military officer, if I understood correctly. They say she's come on some rather unpleasant business. A burial, from what I can gather. Ah. Oh. Yes, Miss Walker. And she hasn't let go of the telephone since she got here. The room's just perfect. Thank you so much. There's no need to thank me, Miss Walker. It's my job to make sure my guests are comfortable. And it's not every day we get a young American lady on a motorbike in the middle of the night looking for a mysterious shop. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm in a detective novel. I'd love to know more about you, Frau Wagner. Oh, there's not much to tell, really. At least, nothing that would change the course of history. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm sure you've had an eventful life, haven't you? Well, I was born just after the war in Wagen, and I've never left. I opened this place and ran it with my husband until he died a few years ago. I'm sorry to hear that. You see, nothing to write home about. Then again, we were never ones for excitement, really. But we were happy, my husband and I. I have a few questions about Wagen. Good, because if you'd asked me about the latest scientific discovery, I'd have to say pass. <laughs> but if it's about Wagen, then you've come to the right person, my dear. What can you tell me about the district? Well, it's one of the oldest districts in Wagen, traditionally working class. Myself and a few of the other relics who live here do try to keep it from modernization and mass tourism as best as we can. Other districts haven't been so careful, and the locals have been forced to leave their district because of rising rent prices. To be honest, I haven't had much time to find out about Wagen and the surrounding area. What is it I should know? For one, Wagen is very old, renowned for its charm and culture. As for the surrounding area, it attracts mountain lovers mostly, it being so near to the Swiss Alps, of course. The banks of the Dombra, the longest river in the country, are the delight of summer vacationers. Apparently the shop I'm looking for is located in Wagen's Antiques District. Could you tell me how to get there from the guest house? Your best bet is to take the tram, miss. The town centre is almost entirely pedestrian, and your motorbike won't be of any use there. You'll find the nearest tram stop at the top of the stairs, to your right as you go out of the guest house. My, uh, quest here is closely linked to the region of Wagen. Could you tell me a little bit about its history? I'd be glad to. The woman I'm looking for must have been about 18 in 1937. Was this an important date in the history of Wagen? Not that I know of, no. But I'm not much of a historian, and I wasn't even born then. All I know is that the troubles came the following years, with the Second World War. So that year must have been a boom year for fascist ideology, when the brown shadow was still just another party vying for power by preaching hate. I found out about the woman I'm looking for thanks to a painting that must have been pillaged by the brown shadow during World War II. It doesn't surprise me. Wagen, and by extension all of Ostertal, was annexed and occupied by the fascists just before the war. They sacked, stole and pillaged everything they could, just like they did in the rest of occupied Europe. Nothing else comes to mind for the moment. Thank you for your time. Well, feel free to come back and ask if you have any more questions. Have a nice day, Miss Walker. Pity Wagen is practically all pedestrian. After all those months on the road, I've gotten kind of fond of that old bike.
What the Thor uncovered up in the mountain? At Devil's Pass, you mean? I did hear something on the news before coming out. What's the latest then? They reckon they found remains dating back to World War II, when Alpine resistance networks led refugees across into Switzerland. Nasty times were those. Yes, not the best times in our history, were they?